One thing computer programs always have to do, is call for subroutines, yet however with Python there are no such things as go to, go sub or jump to subroutine commands at all, this would make someone wonder, how would I perform a subroutine without line numbers, well the answer is with the use of the definition function or the def function for short, although def functions can do much more than call for subroutines, they can also return values not shown here. As with many types of object-oriented programming languages, such as Python and C++, they don't have ways to create subroutines like BASIC or any of those early-day computer program compiler platforms out there had, so instead, they have to use functions or modules to invoke subroutines into programs, you simply write commands right inside each Python function you create, such as this prime video example shows. See what happens when you type and execute run this Python program example, we will cover more about def functions in future video examples, but for now, let's learn to make them become subroutines to have a much better understanding of what def functions can do. The key to learning anything about anything is to start off small, and then expand on what you have learned, with which my Python research and teachings always start off small, before they expand into writing complex Python programs. Object-oriented programming is still very new to me in more ways than one. Number one, there are no such things as go-to or go-sub commands of any kind whatsoever, and that threw me for a loop, until I created def functions such as these examples shown here. It wasn't until this learning curve was resolved that I would start to get the feel for object-oriented programming and learn to love it. However, I sure miss the good old days of DOS and machine language compiler platforms, you can take me out of the dinosaur, but you can never take the dinosaur out of me, computer programming today is not as flexible, and it's too pre-structured today in my opinion, sometimes when creating machine errors was when the best of my discoveries would arise, such as a flashing screen, or text flying randomly around the screen, I would end up creating something with these happy accidental errors, since the good old days of DOS, I've pretty much become a self-taught hardcore computer programmer, and I just love it. I never ever know what I will still come up with next, to this day. 36 years later, that sense of driven passion still burns right through. I won't ever stop until I drop. I'm always driven and passionate with what I create, no matter what it could be. I'm all in or nothing at all, and that's just the way it is for me. I will always teach Python programming with that very same style approach, it's all or nothing at all, I will try my best to make Python programming much easier to understand, until then, practice Python programming each and every day, if your brain starts to hurt, hurt it even more, but don't over concentrate, that only invites forgetfulness as well as mistakes, take a break whenever you need to, until then, I'll see you soon.